Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to paint four different style of trees. So stay tuned. Okay, so for this video we're going to go over how to draw or end paint, draw and paint trees. So for this first tree, we're going to do like an oak tree. So full leaf uh, full canopy tree and I always recommend that you use a reference photo even though I know we all know what trees look like but it's still better if you use a reference photo so you don't have to worry about you know trying to make sure that everything is correct Sometimes your mind is a little bit misleading. And I'm going to draw out some of my lower branches. Oh. <clears throat> and I want some that show up underneath the canopy of leaves. So I'm going to just draw up some of these. Now, once you get to a certain point, these are not going to show up anymore, and that's okay. But what I want is just a base. And then we can take some branches off of this. These old oak trees, they've got a lot of like craggly branches and stuff. So, there we go. And I'm doing this on, this is just a gessoed piece of canvas. You can buy canvas pads where they have actual sheets of canvas that's been gessoed. This was on a like a 12 by 16 and I cut it down. So we're going to use... Hooker's green, that's going to be our medium color, our mid-range color. Then we're going to use light green permanent is going to be our highlight color. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take some ivory black, mix it with the hooker's green, and that's going to be our like shadow color. And we're going to start with our shadow color. So I'm going to take some black, just a little bit of black. We don't need a whole lot. And when I don't need a whole lot of paint, I will just scoop it out with my paintbrush. We don't want to lose the green. We don't want to make it so dark that we lose that this is green. <clears throat> and I'm going to be using probably a number, let's see, I'm going to use a number 12 Princeton Select. This is a round blender brush. And I'm going to use that for these base layers. I'm going to damp it down and then remove most of the water out of there. Now the main thing with doing this is we're going to do these more internal. And I'm just going to move my paintbrush around. And we're going to just blot on. If you start to see a pattern like that, then you want that's why you want to move your paintbrush around. 
Now you don't want to go all the way out. You want to stay more internal with these, with this color, with these. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. With this color, because this is more of an interior color. Now we are going to have our light coming from the left hand side. So you always want to know which side your light is coming from. And I like trees that are not symmetrical. Okay. So we've got our base color in. I am going to grab a round brush and some brown. And I'm going to paint in. You could do this before. I'm doing this now because I want some of these branches in front of the leaves. I want some of them kind of buried behind and some of them kind of in front. We drew out where we wanted our branches to go. That was just so in case you did want to do these first. There is no really right or wrong way Sometimes I'll do it first, and sometimes I will do it second. It, it doesn't really matter. And we're doing little trees, but this is just, I, I'm doing little trees because, you know, we normally paint on rocks. But if you were doing a canvas, you would do this exactly the same thing. You would just do it at a larger scale. Like these branches coming off kind of at the same <clears throat> coming off my reference photo does have it like that but I don't I don't really like that so I am going to pull this down a little bit Okay, and then the best thing to do is just let that dry. So I'm going to fan it here. So while we're still letting that dry, I'm going to grab some titanium white. If you had unbleached titanium white, you could use that as well. <clears throat> and I'm going to mix up just a lighter color for this trunk. Remember, our light is coming from the left-hand side, so we're just going to kind of draw in some lighter. Highlights on this trunk. You see, I started with one that you can't see as well, and then as we move closer to the side of this, We're going to lighten it up. Okay. So it doesn't really take a whole lot. 
I'm gonna just paint in some grass here. <laughs> just to anchor my tree down, I just want some grass in here. take some of this dark and kind of push a shadow back here. big clump of paint up here that doesn't want to dry so we're just gonna spread that around okay so now I'm going to take, this is a number six, Princeton Select. Now I'm just going to take some of this straight hooker's green. And I don't have anything mixed into it. And I'm just going to kind of go over. And this is going to be our mid-range uh, where we're more defining. And you, we're more defining the shape of the tree but you also don't want to kill all your darks. So be careful about, <clears throat> you know, just stamping all over the place uh, and killing all of your, your shadow. And I will push my leaves out further that's why I didn't go much further than our branches because as I we go lighter I'm gonna pull the leaf the canopy out just a little bit so you see I'm just tapping just outside those that darker color And I'm still leaving some pockets of background color where it's coming through. Okay, so now we're going to let that dry. While we let that dry, I'm going to work on this down here a little bit. I'm going to take some of this black, mix it in with my brown. Don't need much. We're just going to darken up this. And I think I'm using burnt umber. Yeah, burnt umber. Now this part is straight black on this side. The green is on that side. So, And then we're going to add in some shadows on this side. And we're going to... Okay, so now we're going to go with our highlight color. Again, this is the light green permanent, but you could just add some 
like a lemon yellow to the green. And we want to make sure everything's dry. And now we're going to hit, now this is the highlight color, so we want more of this on the left hand side, because that's where our light source is. So we're going to just tap this on lightly in random little areas. Again, we don't want to kill all of our darks. And I'm referring to my reference photo, because I do have one. And I'm just following where the lights are, the highlights are on it. And as you move to the right, you're not going to have as much that's highlighted. There will be a little bit that catches that sunlight that's coming through, but not nearly as much as was over here. there you go. Now if you wanted to, you could go one further. You could lighten this up with the yellow and do it one more time. I'm just going to leave it like that for right now. <clears throat> that was very simple and basic and we only had to mix two different colors. The green and the black for the sh shadows and then white and burnt umber to create the highlight on the left side of the tree and uh, we added a little black to the burnt umber for the right side of the tree, the side that's in shadow. So there's, there we go, there's your basic, you know, full canopied tree. Okay, now for this, I'm going to paint evergreens that are green. So we still have some of this black and green mixture. I'm just going to use that. I may add a little bit more black to these. Now evergreens, that's going to be your pine trees. Uh, like cedars pine trees, what else, fir trees I think are also an evergreen, but we've seen them, we're all familiar with like Bob Ross painting them. Now I, I like to paint mine a little different than he did, I'm just going to use, this is just a round paintbrush, I need to add just a little bit of water because we want our paint to flow. And I'm going to make a couple of them out here in this grove I guess. So we're going to start by painting kind of a line and these always go down to the ground. So I'm going to start and some people will paint their branches where they're out more towards they either go out straight or they slope down or they slope up and I like to paint mine more where there's more of a slope down but again I'm I pulled a reference photo so I'm not just painting from memory because honestly I don't think I've ever even well, I guess I have seen these trees 
once or twice in my life, but we don't really have these around where I live. We have oak trees, but we don't have these kind of trees. So there we go. And we don't want these to be perfect either. I'm going to darken this up just right along the trunk area just to fill that in just a little bit. We want to make sure we have some darks that our lights can play off of. I guess you can't really see the snow. <laughs> because uh, my canvas is white but anyway So we have some snow on the ground, but it's thawing. I don't know why I always think of these trees in snow, but I guess they're also there during the spring and summer too. So now on these, I'm just going to do, I'm going to skip the medium color. These are so small that I'm just going to go straight to the highlight. And again, we're going to have our uh, sun coming from the right hand, or sorry, the left hand side. So where you're going to pretty much only highlight, I've got way too much water in my paintbrush. You know, I'm going to think that they're in a grove of trees, so the sun's not going to hit every inch of it. And I'm just kind of dotting this around, not killing my blacks. So there we go for those could make another one that's standing over here by himself. of this section. Paint's drying up on, on me on the canvas. Or on my palette. Plus my canvas is kind of wet from the snow. Yeah, it's too wet to, to really add any highlights to it. There we go. It's creating kind of a glare where it's wet. But there you go. There's my little evergreen trees. So now we're going to move on and we're going to do 
evergreen trees with snow on them. Now for this one, I'm just going to do one evergreen tree. I've, re I've added some more paint. I needed to add more black and some more white for this tree. So we're going to paint it like we would the summer time. Uh, the summertime trees. So, so I'm just going to dance my paintbrush down. Let me turn this. And then I'm going to come back in and fill this in. This tree is going to be a little bit bigger. And I definitely want these branches to face down because we are going to go in and put some snow on them. Maybe I will do one more. Put the water down here. Just because these aren't very big. Now we're going to let this dry. Okay, so now we're going to go in here into the wipe. We are going to load just the tip of our paintbrush. And then we're going to start dabbing on. Now this would show up better if we had painted the background, I should have painted the background a different color. But you, again, you don't want to kill your darks. You just want to lay some snow onto your branches that look like that. Pretty easy. Put some snow up on the tip a little bit. And you can make the snow a little heavier on one side if you want to, like it was in a, a driving snow. Well, one side of the tree is going to be just a little heavier with snow. there we go. And that is your evergreen with snow. Hopefully you can see that fairly well. Okay, so now we're going to do a cherry blossom tree over here. So I'm going to grab a little bit more of my burnt umber. I need a little bit more white. So first we're going to do the trunk on this one. So I'm just picking up a little bit of black, mixing it into that burnt umber. I have a lot of white on my paintbrush. So I'm going to clean it real fast. And I am going to grab some more black just to There we go. Let's get some of this black, mix it in with some of this burn. I just want to darken it up just a little bit. So on this one, 
I want the tree to kind of have a bend in it. That's how my reference photo is. So we're going to I'm going to paint that, put that on here. It's got a pretty good root system. And it's like it bends. And it's got a branch coming off this way. coming up this way and I'm just letting my branches kind of taper off and then this one is much bigger Then I lose, I can't see any more of the branches. But I'm just going to paint a couple in just in case. Okay, so I'm going to do kind of the same thing I did with the oak tree. I'm going to do with the cherry blossom tree. Let me let this dry. <clears throat> I'm going to take my, this is the number 12 uh, Princeton Select blender brush and I'm gonna well for one I'm gonna clean it this isn't very clean I'm gonna get most of the water off of it and then I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna load my brush up and I'm using quinacridone magenta and this is gonna be the shadow color and we're just going to tap this on. You could use the smaller one too if you wanted to. And again, we're just going to do more of the interior of the tree, not worrying so much about the, the outer bristles. Kind of defining our shape of the tree here a little bit. Okay, there we go. So we're going to let that dry. While we're letting that dry, I'm going to mix up a lighter pink. And this is going to be our mid-range mid pink. And I'm back to using my round brush. So we're going to start defining some of this area. Now you could use the number six round blender brush, but I feel like these, since this is a tree that is in, it's in bloom, so it doesn't have any leaves on it. So it's not as, 
the canopy is not as dense as like on a on an oak tree so you want to keep that in mind so we don't want it to be quite as as full so I'm using this brush because I can I can make smaller clumps of leaves with this and I'm pretty much just dancing my paintbrush around and again our light source is going to be coming from the left I'm just going to keep that all consistent and I'm just lightening up my color just a little bit but this mid-range I'm putting kind of all over the tree but again I don't want to lose my darks so now we're going to go much lighter much lighter pink Okay, and again, a lot of this, I should have just painted this whole thing like a blue. I should have done blue skies or something on these. And again, we're going to really focus on the outer edge of these clumps of leaves. And we'll do, bring some of that inside. And we'll do it just a little bit in here. And if you feel like, like right here, I don't like the way this looks. So I'm just going to pick up, I'm dry my paintbrush off a little bit. And I'm going to pick up some, just a little bit of the quinacridone magenta, just the straight. I'm just going to break out, it just kind of blobbed out on my, on my uh, canvas here so I'm just going to pick up a little bit and I'm just dancing this around to break up any big blobs that I had now we can go back in and kind of finish what we're doing You want to go one step lighter you you can And there we go. Oops, I'm getting off. So I'm going to call, I am going to do right, I'm going to fix these over here. So I've gone back to my medium shade. I don't like the way this looks, so I'm just going to fix this too. touch of a highlight here or there. There we go.
There we go. Now we'll highlight the tree. Make sure my darks are dark enough. There we go. So let's pull some highlights here. And if you go too, too light, you can always just hit it with a little dark. We're working on such a small scale that sometimes your brush stroke gets a little out of control. Don't worry, you can just paint over it. There we go. there you go. I hope that kind of demystifies how to paint trees. Now there's a bunch of different ways to do it. This isn't the only way. This is just how I do it. And hopefully that'll give you some tips on how to paint your trees. So I'll see you in the next video.